Webster area seems to be in the bullseye of just about every storm this winter. Today's snow brought down trees and utility poles, leaving thousands of people without power, as we mentioned. Many of those people in Winchenden, Lunenburg, and in Harvard. WBZ's Louisa Muller has been out in Central Mass throughout the day. Continues our team coverage now live in Bolton. Louisa, how are the conditions there? Well, David and Lisa, I went to and spoke with several towns north of Worcester. Many of them told me they have just been dealing with a mess of limbs down all day. Why? Because as you heard from Eric, they had snow last night. They got freezing rain this morning, and now they have this snow again, which is making sort of this effect, extremely heavy limbs. The sound of snapping tree branches rang out in Princeton. Branches like the ones that knocked out Lynn and George Raymond's power at 2 a.m. House shook. The house shook twice that I know of. I mean, that woke me up and, yeah, we could hear the bang. And caused a flurry of other issues. We only had half electricity in our house, so, and things were dull and dimming, and anyway, so that was kind of scary. It was the same story starting early in the day. Noontime in downtown Holden, marked by police lights and a cherry picker. Even before the storm picked up, crews were dealing with power outages that took down traffic lights and on Princeton Street, an entire pole. The remnants lay in the snow as wires draped down over the road. Parila Rose brushed the snow off her car, hoping to head out in search of warmth. Her power went out this morning. I was going to go to work, but I didn't want to be on ice, so I stayed home and then this, so. Whatever. I have lights and I have candles and lanterns, so it's fine. And as the snow continues to blanket roads, the tree branches will also grow even heavier. Now, as I've told you, this has been sort of a prolonged power outage issue in this area. In Princeton, for example, their power crews started going out at 1045 last night to fix some damage. They fixed several neighborhoods and then had to go back out because places were re-damaged. We're live in Bolton, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Never fun. Louisa, thank you.